Welcome back to your City Council Minute. My name is Daniel Seguin and this is your recap of the June 2023 City Council meeting. The meeting began with Shane Pace of Jedco, who presented the Business of the Month Award to Southside Bank. The mayor presented the Government Finance Officers Association Distinguished Budget Award to Roxana Briley, Finance Director. This is the seventh year in a row that the city has received this honor. The first action item of the evening was the award of an RFQ to Gulf Coast Recreation for new playground equipment at Buckner Park. The award is the result of a Texas Parks and Wildlife grant, which provided more than $125,000 of funding. The playground is expected to be completed by the end of the year. Next, the City Council approved a contract for electric vehicle charging stations downtown, approved obligation of American Rescue Plan dollars for projects to include road repairs, park improvements, backup generators, and more, approved a replat of the lot of a lot in Lake Springs subdivision and approved the construction and maintenance contract for batting cages at the baseball complex. During the open forum for mayor and city council, council member Letitia Horace encouraged everyone to attend the community resource fair on Saturday, June 24th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Seminary Heights Church of Christ on Arnold Street. The event will feature free food, raffles, kids entertainment, and local organizations who will share available community resources. The mayor encouraged all to attend the Juneteenth celebration and parade on Saturday, June 17th. During the city manager's report, Mr. Hubbard reminded everyone to visit JacksonvilleTX.org, click on business, and select city items for sale slash auctions to view and bid on current commercial kitchen equipment up for auction through June 19th. Lastly, the city manager reminded everyone that the demolition of the former Central Fire Station located at the corner of Rust Street and Main Street will begin this week. The space will be reintegrated into the park with potential renovations of the park to include bathrooms, an amphitheater, and playground. Thank you for tuning in to your City Council Minute, and we'll see you next month.